What is happening guys? Welcome to the video. In this video I want to talk about how my first week of prep went and then I'm going to show you some footage from yesterday's brutal leg workout that I'm really feeling today. Okay, so week one of prep has already come and gone and I started the prep at 176.0 pounds, 176 on the dot. And my goal is to, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, I gotta get under 154 pounds. I'm definitely gonna make that lightweight class again. For you guys that don't know me, haven't followed this channel, I am not a big dude. I am 5'7 on a good day, and as I just mentioned, 176 pounds. Uh, I did a, a measurements and stats kind of preliminary video to start the prep off, so if you wanna go check that out, get a feel for like how I'm built, that'll uh, give you some I don't know, context to where I'm starting at this prep. So I'm for sure gonna get under 154 pounds, and in my last competition, I weighed in the day of the show, or the, I guess the day before the show, at 151.3, if I remember correctly, and I know I'm gonna land somewhere around that again, but this time we wanna get even leaner, so there's a chance I crack into the 140s, which I'm fully prepared to do, and that's why we're giving ourselves 28 weeks to get to the stage. 28 weeks is a long time. The longest prep I've ever done, I believe, is 20. It was 18 or 20 weeks, so we've almost got a full two months to really dial it in and get the results we're after, and I'm super excited about it, so let's get right into this first week. So week one, calories were just over 2,700. I'm working with a coach, so he's handling all that stuff, and I'm just following the plan to a T. He's got it broken down into six meals a day, which I'm gonna do a full day of eating probably in the next week or so, and you guys will get a little bit better idea of what I'm eating right now. But 2,700 calories, of course, split up protein, carbs, and fats. Um, everything is relatively high right now, like for me, um, for my body. I'm not hungry. Obviously, when time comes to eat, I'm ready to eat. But there's no, I'm not starving or anything like that. There's no hangry. There's no grumpiness going on right now. Everything's pretty smooth, pretty easy. Training-wise, I'm handling all that myself. Training five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then we take Thursday off. Then we go Friday, Saturday, and then we take Sundays off. So that's the split I've been following for a long time now, and it's worked for me, so we're gonna keep that running all the way up to the show. Cardio, he's got me on three sessions. Um, there's two fasted 25 minutes on the incline treadmill or Stairmaster. Right now I'm just doing the treadmill out of convenience, but as time goes on, I'll probably go to the Stairmaster when I really need to start digging deep and burning more calories. And then we have one spin bike hit session. Um, which is post-workout I did on Friday this week and I'll probably keep that Friday going just because it's an arm and shoulder day So I'm not too Exhausted by the time I get to the cardio versus if I tried to do it after like a heavy back workout or a heavy leg workout My body might be like, okay, you know, I'm ready for food now. Let's just dial it back so Doing it after the the shoulders and arm session. I was still pretty pretty high energy ready for the stairs or for the spin bike Sorry, um, so we did 20 uh no, not 20, 30 seconds of like a hard, hard, hard pedal, basically as hard as I could go. 30 seconds, then took as little rest as I needed, which for me, I kind of just timed it out at 30 seconds, so each round was like a minute, and we did 12 rounds of that. So it was 12, 30 second burst, 30 second rest, and repeating that for 12 times. Took basically around 12 minutes, and I was sweating through the hoodie on, and I was just pedaling away, pedaling away, through the music in, and off we went. Uh, overall, feeling really good, this, this week, obviously, as I mentioned, calories are still pretty high. I'm in a deficit, but I'm not in such a deficit that I'm you know, starving myself and not feeling good. Um, food is, is good. I've got it timed out pretty good where every two and a half, three hours I get food in and then prioritizing carbohydrates around my training when I can. And it seems to be helping me a lot. Um, I noticed that when I have two meals before training, so my first meal is a smoothie and then my second meal which I try to do before training, because I usually train around like 10, 10.30 in the morning, um, is chicken and rice, which is a pretty bigger meal compared to some of the other ones. So if I get that in me, I know I feel better. So I'm trying to set my training up with my schedule where I can hit those two meals before my training and then really kill it in the gym. What else can I talk about? Uh, rest days, I'm doing my best to prioritize resting on those days. So as I mentioned, rest day is Thursday, which is during the week, so I work. So it's still, I'm still active on those days, but on Sundays, which is today, today's a Sunday, like nothing, like really trying not to do a whole lot. Did some computer work this morning, um, and then we've just been kind of chilling on the couch, my girlfriend and I, um, watching Netflix and relaxing, keeping the meals steady coming in every few hours, and I, I know that makes a difference, especially hitting the legs on Saturday, and it's the hardest workout of the week on that Saturday. Um, taking Sunday to just relax, 
like totally is is key for me. I do my cardio in the morning on Sunday. I just get up and go for that walk and that kind of helps actually flush the legs out and it's not too taxing on me to, to make me uh, fatigue, I guess you could say. It's more just, you know, doing the cardio, doing the steps, doing, doing the work. Um, and then after that, first meal, and then just kind of take the day hour by hour and, and not try to do a whole lot, honestly, which is something that's new to me, but uh, has proven already to be pretty effective. So one piece of advice I can share right now is that on your rest days, guys, use them. Use them to rest, use them what they're for. Don't try to just, you know, it, it's hard with, with life and stuff. Like obviously you have responsibilities and stuff and not every Sunday I'm gonna be able to just chillax and do nothing. Right now it's uh, pretty gloomy outside, right? We're in fall now, so it's cold, it's, you know, it's, it's darker earlier, it's darker earlier, like later in the morning. So the days are pretty short. So, you know, it's, and it's an excuse to just relax, which for me has, has proven to be helpful. So rest when you need to rest. Uh, that's basically it, guys. Nothing too special. It starts off pretty, pretty steady. Honestly, pretty relaxing. Everybody's like, "Oh, I was prep going. Oh my God, you're starving." No, like I'm not. Like this is this is the easy part. It gets it gets much worse as we go on. I lost 2.2 pounds this week, so you know the first week it's it's pretty expected. You know, it's that for me it usually starts out pretty predictable. You know, the first five to ten pounds kind of just washes off. And that's, you know, that's water and, and other, you know, extra stuff in my body from being in a caloric surplus for so long. And then as the body fat levels go down, then it'll be harder to get those pounds off. So that's when we gotta you know, drop the calories down, put the cardio up, and that's when you start to suffer. But right now it's, it's easy going. And sometimes I'm not even hungry when I have to eat again, honestly. Um, two of my meals, three of my meals actually, my chicken, there's a beef meal, and then my post-workout, I have a big thing of Cheerios. Um, that stuff fills me and I'm usually pretty good for a couple hours after that and then I'm like, oh man, I need to eat again, better go get some food. It's not like I'm just sitting there like watching the clock, waiting and waiting and waiting for, for food to come. So it's good. So that's my first week update for you guys. I know this video wasn't overly spectacular with, with content at the beginning, but right now you're going to see some footage from yesterday's leg workout. I had a buddy come down from uh, Lindsay, which is a town just under two hours away. We just kind of mutual friends on Instagram, honestly. And uh, I shot him a message one day and said, hey, I need to do legs with somebody um, sometime soon. If you want to come down, he's a competitive bodybuilder getting ready for his first actual bodybuilding show. He is 19, he's freaking jacked. And uh, be sure to uh, give him a follow. I think it's, I'll put it on screen somewhere, but I believe it's bodybuilding with Jake. I think that's his Instagram name. Um, and then that's, that's, that's his account, so go follow him and give him some support. Super chill dude, super nice guy, and we're gonna line something up where I go to him next time, and uh, we'll crush it. So enjoy the, the footage from yesterday's leg workout, and uh, today is Thanksgiving, where I'm from, here in Canada, so going to the family tonight to enjoy some turkey dinner. Everything's weighed and measured, don't you worry. <laughs> and, uh, and just chill, just chill, that's today, that's Sunday. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Week one update. Some leg footage, easy video. Don't forget to like the video guys, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Push it. Push it. Nice. <laughs> Fucking right. Twelve, man. Twelve. Good. Let's go. Come on. Come on, buddy. Good. Good. Let's go. Where you at? Two. Two. Come on. Slow. Drive. Back down. Good.
Come on. What are you going for? First, let's go. Come on, push it. Yep. Boom. Fucking right. It's harder. Got to work for it. Two, three. Let's go. Do twelve. Fifty pounds. But we're making them work. Good. Good. Good position. Good position. Get that neck down. There you go. Come on. Boom. Two, three, four. Come on. Good, good. Okay, here we go. We need five. We need five. Take that breath. Walk it in. Boom. Right there. Five. Four. Come on. Three. Two. One more. Good. Go. Good, toes up, there we go. Squeeze them. Good, good. Nice. Breathe. There you go, exhale, boom, exhale. Kick that pad hard. Good. Force it out. Two, three, four, five, six. Toes up. Seven, eight. Come on. Nine, ten. Good. Three, four. Exhale on up. Yep. Good, squeeze them. Fifteen to twenty, man. Fifteen to twenty. Come on, let's go. One, come on. Two. Push it. Go. Push it. Easy. That's fucking money. Head back. Good. Everything against the pad. Two. Drive. Three. Four. Get that band tension. Five. Six. Come on. Seven. Let's go. Eight. Come on. 
You got four. Let's go. One. Come on. Two. No break. No break. Bang about Two reps. Good. Rack. Boom, two, drive through the heels, get the glutes. There you go, three, four, let's go, come on, oh yeah. Five, all you, there you go, walk it in. Six, come on, match me, I got 10, match me. Drive, seven, let's go, oh, eight, bang them. Nine, 12, 12, come on, 10, let's go. 11, let's go, 15, come on. This is it, three, we need three, bang them out, bang them out. Deep breath, brace, right here. Lock it in, we need three, let's go. Up, one, down, down, up, down. Control, three, two, one, down. Three, two, one, up. Good. Thank you. Most muscular. Come on. Come on. Up those legs. 
legs. I do it this way because it's symmetrical. 